Welcome to Let's Learn Railway Empire 2 together. All right, hi, this is Atticon, and welcome to Let's Learn Railway Empire 2 together. We are playing Campaign Mission 5, Nord Express. This is part 8 of our playthrough of Nord Express. And I had recorded about 50, 55 minutes of uh, video and got it all done and realized that I wasn't recording my voice. Well, it was stuff that I just really would be happy to just show you how it ended up. But we, I had, unfortunately, I do have this last piece here where we are um, finishing off. We're about to hit 85,000 in, in Paris. That was our goal. And uh, we just, you know, we put in furniture. We put it in one of our cities to ship to Paris. We put in paper in one of our cities to ship to Paris. And uh, we're just getting everything lined up to send to Paris to keep Paris growing so that we can hit the 85. We've just opened up a new train, the Prussian T-16, and just comparing it to the uh, tank and deciding that since they're, the Prussian's actually slightly cheaper, um, uh, 70 miles per hour versus 71, but just double tractive power. It's a great freight engine. So we're going to switch all of our... Uh, freight over to the Prussian. So we're going to go out and take all the Tafvel uh, tanks, switch them to the Prussian T-16 and run that as our, uh, pa our <clears throat> pardon me, and run that as our freight engine from now on. And we're just getting up to, uh, about ready to show you right here. Uh, I, I set up a line that, that requires at least four uh, freight priority tools and that's the only thing they're producing right now and there you can see it loading so we know once it started loading that we'd hit the 85,000 so I wanted it to start just as soon as it started loading and um, there really isn't anything else to do right now so we're just going to uh, let that run and I think we're actually going yeah what am I saying I think I know I know we are we're going to ride on it I just I'm, right here I'm just checking its line to make sure it's okay it says it goes through some uh, one, uh, you know, multi-direction track, a mixture, and I think all it's saying is we're going through those uh, stations, which we don't really care, and we're just going to ride along on this train. And this time it's letting us ride at, at high speed, which is great. I actually prefer that if I'm going to ride. So let's just take a ride on this thing and finish off this task, and we'll see what it gives us to do next. And then we'll start playing, and I'll make sure I've got my uh, recording working so that you can hear my voice and I'm not just talking to myself. And I remember saying, ah, that guy cut us off. And he did. That uh, train cut us off in that station, but that's all right. Now, here's the bad thing I don't like about the, 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 the way the signals are done now. They're ugly. They come out spaced kind of ugly, right? They're, they're all, look at that. They're just everywhere. I really wish they'd fix that. It's such a beautiful game, and it's just a shame to have have that blemish on it. So here we're passing through one of the stations, probably Nan, and we're heading over to Reims. And if I thought I didn't have anything to say for the rest of the play, I certainly don't have anything to say about this. Except it is kind of cool to see the trains cup up on us. Here we go. Oh, here we're at Paris. Before I was All right. This consulting capacity, so now they're congratulating us for getting the task done. Myself. My advice is and to make sure that your there's our message saying we've completed the a task. Stations. If necessary, you should create bypass routes. That's great. Another stage is complete. And now our buddy's telling us uh, we can slowly but surely, slowly work our way, work our way, surely, uh, work our way across the country. The country. Or he says and around the country. And another piece of good news. 
I have been able to obtain a permit and, for buying uh, shares of German companies. Oh, now we can buy shares of German companies. Okay, so now they're telling us we can buy out these, uh, buy the German companies. That would be the, la uh, the lady and the uh, gangster. So they want us to buy out Madam C.J. Ward. So this was right at the end. I was thinking we were going to finish the video. So I was thinking, well, let's just go ahead and buy her and then, then we'll, then we'll uh, call it call it a day. And we got that. We've already connected 21 cities, and we've got uh, to achieve an express status on the line between Paris, Frankfurt, and Berlin. We'll work on that now, which would have been next episode when I was making this. So we'll go find old uh, Madam, and we'll buy her. It's going to cost us 4.7 million. Great. We already own 25 percent of her from some other thing, and we're going to liquidate her completely. She's gone. And I thought, well, wait, can we buy Barty? And he's only $61 million, so yes, we can pay cash for him. And we will buy Barty, liquidate everything, and now we have no competition. And look at that. Look at that beautiful, clean slate we have to play with. That is absolutely lovely. And now we can jump into this episode and uh, see what's next. And we, well, we know we've got to make this uh, um, express line. And now I'll go back and, and really start making this. And as I said, I'll make sure I'm actually recording my voice this time. All right, so now, now let's go. I did make sure that I am recording my voice. And let's move on. We can achieve an express status on a rail line between Paris, Frankfurt, and Berlin. Now, here's Paris. There's Frankfurt, and we have this line that runs up here that we had created for that other line, that one express we wanted. And then Berlin is right here, and it's nice and empty because we bought out, <laughs> we bought out all the competition, so this is lovely. So what we could do, well, uh, we could either make a big old, you know, like, like one of those tunnel bridge extravaganzas that just runs straight to Berlin, right? Like from Frankfurt to Berlin. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'd like to get this done. And we still got, okay, and good. We're getting 86% growth here in Paris. Excellent. Reims is up to 103,000 now. I've put a university in Reims to keep it going. And I have missed an opportunity or two. I had a chance to put a to grab a, a, an industry here and missed it. And there's a meat industry in there. And there's a, and it, well, I, I just missed one here uh, in Strasbourg. But we'll see what we need next. And, and we'll probably just buy one of them and knock it down and put what we want. So, because you can see what I'm doing. I'm almost treating this whole thing as a cluster for the advanced goods. I'm just shipping them all to Paris. But we are shipping them to a warehouse here, right? So, now, Paris is consuming everything right now, and that's fine because we've been growing Paris, and we'll just keep doing that. But Reims is growing even better because it's got the raw material. It got, it got first dibs on the first stuff, so it's getting plenty. And uh, as we ramp up, we'll, we'll see if we can't make more and more of the advanced goods to ship out to some of the other cities as they get a little bit bigger. Okay, so uh, let's, do, let's, uh, let's, do, let's do the big wild line. Yeah, why not? Why not? It'd be something to do. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Let me talk you through what I changed that you didn't see. Notice this right here. This game is less trains, more track. It really is. Less trains, more track. Well, by golly, we've got enough track now. I, I put in at least four stations in each one. I actually have eight here in our, uh, for the inputs coming in and the outputs going out for the, uh, uh, the raw goods exchange, you know, the, the raw materials exchange in Reims. Just made quadruple track running everywhere, and it has worked very nicely. I mean, I've been able to merge them in together and into Paris. And then over here, I've got uh, this track merges in. Let's see where you can see a good example of it. Well, these are all just simple merges. I was thinking I went across multiple lanes somewhere. Well, yes, right here. Uh, it's hard to see. Yeah, right here. See all this? These four lanes come out and merge with these four lanes out here. So that it's all like 
in effect one continuous piece of track and it all seems to work beautifully and this is honestly this has really improved things a lot just going in and putting all in all this extra track and having multiple options for these trains and and open and mainly opening up more platforms in effect having bigger stations you know if you think of it as railway empire uh, now we have large stations here instead of uh, medium or small ones and that just improves your throughput uh, tremendously so we got that going and I did the same thing up here because this was getting very very slow too and the other thing I did I did put in maintenance post right here there's one and I moved it all the way up to 100 percent so it's costing us 28,000 a week to operate this but it reduces breakdown probability by 90 percent in this area so this is a busy area where everything's coming in and there's one here and in fact there's one over here so this whole area is covered by these high maintenance intensity offices we're paying a small fortune for 56,000 a week but it lowers the probability of breakdown by almost almost cuts almost uh, eliminates it right so that's the idea of it put it in your busy station places we could put one we could go over here and think about putting one if we wanted to, one or two, if we wanted to. Actually, why don't we? I mean, we really do have plenty of money. You saw there at the beginning of this, we just bought, we just said, oh, look, we can buy uh, Barty. How much is he? 28, or what was it? 61 million? And we, we kind of just said, where's my checkbook? Uh, so let's put one here and maybe here. Now that now there won't, shouldn't be be very rare to have a breakdown in this area here. It's also costing us a small fortune, but again, we don't care at this point. Now, I'm not sold on them, by the way, but they're there because I still feel like if you're doing maintenance correctly and you got all your bonuses on your engineers and da 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 da, da you know what's the problem? Let's go out of an unused platform from. Paris. Let's make our way to it was Paris, Frankfurt, Berlin, right? Let's make our way to Berlin. I don't think this track is used. Well, it shows use, but I don't think it's actually used anymore. Um, I don't trust that. I think that's measuring. See, it doesn't show you any lines. Let me let me see let's see if there's anything actually using this station right here. There's a uh, that's that's the coal coming down to the steel mill. This is a line going up to Castle. Oh, that's probably our Oh, that's the PLM. That's our passenger line to Castle. And what's that? And that's the ore. So there's no, this line down here is really not being used anymore. Uh, we could use it. If we came out of Paris and hooked into that, that would, yeah, let, let's just do that. Let's do that. Let's go, um, let's use this and come over here. Kind of like this and down here and into an unused one right there. Okay. Uh, we don't, uh, we can just go right through the mountain, we don't care. Go through there. It doesn't like this part. And I don't like the uh, I don't like the speed here. So we gotta have more speed. That's better. So we got max and minimal grades. Um, that's actually double track now. Uh, we can't build it, so there must be something else wrong. Okay, here. Too long a tunnel.
Wouldn't we rather go through like this? I think we would. So let's go. Um, let's go to Plan Two. Which, by the way, now that I've gotten the hang of it, I love the Plan One, Plan Two. That is just so useful. Let's uh, build a little piece of track there. Now go back to Plan One. And let's just connect. All we have to do is touch that. Uh, now what's the error? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to drop that. We're going to go like this and then draw our line back to... Um, Back to Paris. Make sure we can get speed. And the tunnel's too long, so we'll come down here. And we can just get rid of it. Beautiful. So now what doesn't it like? Blocked by a building. That, I guess. Okay, now you can go. Okay, we're going to build that. Then we're going to continue right on over to this. Uh, keep our speed. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, we're going to come into that double track, so let's give it some faux double track here and put signals in so it'll behave with this merge here. So that'll get us all the way to Frankfurt. And then let's just do a nice big straight line from Frankfurt. We have to come out of this station here. Well, we got this track running all the way up here to Castle, and it looks good. And it comes out of Castle. Well, we just do a straight line out of Castle like this. Like maybe uh, from here. Uh, find the max. There it is. Where are we going? Right here, I think. I think that's Berlin. It is. Give it a station. Uh, do we want... Uh, that's, that's a bit much. Now, this is not like Railway Empire. You don't have to have the straightest possible line. You just have to have a an average speed. So as long as you've got not too many inclines and your max speed going and you're not slowing down through a hundred stations, uh, you should have zero issues getting express status on these lines. Now in, in uh, Railway Empire you had to have the straightest line and, and the fastest train from whatever, blah, blah, blah. We, we never did figure out what it really meant to get an express line in Railway Empire. We really never did figure it out. I think that will actually get us our line. So let's go from Paris Freight running an express line and we're going to say don't bring mail that's heavier max of one we don't care if you have minimum doesn't matter we'll give it a caboose to get that speed bonus and we'll run the fastest train we've got which is this one right here 
Oh, maybe we if we gave it a the other end of the uh, line would be good. Oh wait, wait, it's Paris Frankfurt, isn't it? Paris Frankfurt. Frankfurt's right here, and it has to be this one. Paris Frankfurt. Berlin, which doesn't look like we can do. Oh, I know why. Okay, never mind. Okay. We've got, we're coming off double track here, but we've only got single track. Let's just double track it all the way out to there. Again, it's only money. Okay. Oh, it won't, it won't do it. It won't, oh, crap. It won't give us that bridge right there. Let's go back here, delete this, and let's see if we can come off this uh, we a little more of a right angle. And before we get too far down the road, let's see if see if it'll uh, see if it'll take this. It will not. Well, you know what though, we can we can. We can have a, a, a little bit of, we can have, the bridge can be a single bridge and it'll st still run just fine. If we go like this, if we just connect it back up again, like that, right? And then we give it like a faux, actually, in fact, all we need is our, our little faux double track like this. So we can set a signal. All, all, all it's wanting us to do is put a signal in here so that we can block this off and, and yes I, I I'll say it again yes I do miss the other signal method of course I liked it a lot better all right that that should work let's 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 see if that works we'll go from Paris Paris freight and let me double check this Paris Frankfurt Berlin yeah all right, new line, Paris Freight to Frankfurt to Berlin. There we go. We're going to make an express line, no mail, max of one, no mail, max of one. No mail. Max of one. With the caboose. 104 days. Oh, look at the line. Look at the line it's taking. What, what, what is that? What in the world? Oh, it can't come. I think it's having trouble coming back. It is. It's having. Uh, it's it's having all kinds of difficulties. I'm not. I'm surprised it even let us build the line. Let's see what happens if we double track it, like this. right into the station like that. And give it that and then give it uh, signals on this side as well. Let's see if it figures out something a little better. And it may not have gone this way to start with. I'm not sure. Uh, we can also go down here and kill out that track right there. Okay. Ooh, he's just going to rip right by that university. Okay. Uh, create line here. To Frankfurt. Oh. 
Are we missing... What in the world? Oh, I see. Frankfurt, that's what we wanted. And then to Berlin. And let's just check that line. Oh, my word. Oh, oh, I see. I No, I don't. You start here. You go... Here. Are there signals on this? Yes. And yes. Okay. You go up here to that. Now let's look at its route. If that's all you're doing, that look at the route. It's perfectly good, right? Now, so the problem has to be up at this end. So if we go Frankfurt and we go to Berlin, all of a sudden it's this crazy who knows what. Probably, oh, it's coming on the, I think on the way back, it's coming back here to this to turn around to go to, Lord knows, to, to here to turn around to come back this way to get down here to go to front. Gee, Pete. So, surely, surely we can figure this out. Oh, okay. This line is only merging with this, with one side. That is not true. It's merging with both of them. Oh, oh, I picked the wrong track. It's actually coming out of Castle is actually this track, not that track. I'm a dummy. The game's a lot smarter than I am. Well, <laughs> All right, next time I'll try to make a statement that actually says something. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Castle, we want this piece of track right here. Okay, so we want you to come out of this piece of track right here and then go up like this. Oh, that's, that's excellent. A little one degree bridge, that's beautiful. And then go to Berlin. And, ah, shoot, just run right over the lake and everything. Lovely. And we'll just double track that all the way up. Make sure we get the end. Oh, it already has switches? Yes. And then give it... Um, directions all right let's see what that does here we go for the 28th time Paris freight to Frankfurt looks good to Berlin Looks great. Freight line. No mail. No. Uh, what's wrong with it? It won't let me double. Uh, oh. <laughs> Express line. <laughs> no mail. Ugh. Max one, no mail, max one, no mail, max one, coop vent with a dining, 50 days. We know that. All right. That's, uh, okay, going to take us 50 days to get this done. So we'll get it done this year at least. Roughly. All right. And then what can we do in the meantime? I'll tell you what, in the meantime, what cities don't we have growing? Well, we haven't done anything up here. Why don't we do something up here? 
And let's do let's do let's do the one up here with a um, well. Let's see what we got. We got meat, cloth, beer, beautiful, and more beer. Let's, let's do all four, but do it in a different way. Let's do it in a freight station with a warehouse on the city and warehouses talking to warehouses, right? So we've got lumber, corn, grain, veggies. We need sugar and fruit and milk. Uh, sugar, fruit, milk. Uh, there's sugar up here at Konigsberg. What do they make? Nothing. Look at this. Konigsberg could be beer. We could do a beer meat here. What's that? And they got nothing. I guess when we, oh, we bought that guy out and it just wiped out. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We can just do whatever we want here. I think he probably owned all those businesses and, and we liquidated them, so we blew them up. So now we've got one, two, three, four, and a beer. Why don't we do this? Let's do a one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, a four city cluster. And let's let's do a little, um, let's see, what do we call this? Michael, uh, hang on, I gotta go look up a name. Okay, it's Michael R. Lingby. Put a comment about he's having success using the hotel in the center. Remember that functionality? So I think what we're gonna do here is have a, let's put a station right in the middle of these four cities, right? Kind of line it up like this. And we're gonna call this one, this station, Lingby, in, I assume it's Michael's honor. So we're gonna have a Lingby, and in our Lingby, there's gonna be uh, a hotel. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm real tempted to do the Attican version of this. In fact, I'm going to. There's gonna be a hotel and a warehouse. And the warehouse, the warehouse is going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, six items. <laughs> okay, then we're going to go to Eitkunen and put a station out here that is going to have maintenance for sure and uh, I don't know what else could it have it could have a post office restaurant I'll see 15% of rest of passenger or 20% of post let's let's just let's just figure that out we can take 15% of 30 or uh, <laughs> that's wasn't hard to figure out, was it? All right, we'll put a restaurant, a restaurant and maintenance. Now I'm gonna go off and build this and I'll come back and explain it to you when I'm done. All right, welcome back. I've got uh, Lingby, I think, basically set up. We have two lines running from each city, from Eidkunen, Konigsberg, Danzig, and Bromberg. And one is going, one, well, I'm here, ah, stop. Let me, I'll go set these up as soon as I see what we can get into. Ah, all buildings. <laughs> I just built a bunch of factories, and now it tells me all buildings. Ah, great. Well, anyway, we've got meat, beer, cloth, and, and clothing, and lumber. So we've got lumber coming from down here into Lingby. We've got corn into Lingby, grain and sugar. And then we've got the warehouse will take those four plus meat and beer. So the idea is whoever, whatever you're producing, you can take there, the other three can take it away, right? So now we're exchanging all our goods in this, in this uh, uh, site here and all our passengers from you can if you you can go to any city through Lingby now they might not go like these two might not go that way 
these probably will. Everything else will. This, this two may not, and that's okay. It, don't, it doesn't matter. So let's just set it up. Let's set it up with, um, let's get our raw materials going in there. So let's get this, um, uh, we'll do corn to here. And that's going to be uh, out of track two. And uh, we don't even have to specify anything. We are going to have it run full. It's going to be a freight train. We're going to run the Prussian. Five days is beautiful. Okay. We're going to run the uh, sugar in from back here to here. Track one, run full. A freight line with the Prussian, 11 days, beautiful. We're gonna run the corn in. Corn goes. Run full. 17 days, is that beautiful? That'd be a two, two, yeah, that's beautiful. And the lumber, track one, run full, with uh, 19 days, it's still beautiful. All right, so now, let's get all our goods out there to the station. So, we'll pick a line here out of, I, uh, no. Uh, uh, let's see, out of that one, we're going to go to Lingby. We're going to go out of track two. We're going to be a freight line out of track two. You can see what it can pick up in Lingby. And it doesn't really need anything. It can be 7.7 uh, .7 days. Okay, now, let's think about this. I want to have the rate of return, you know, I want it to be, um, you're going to bring a, up to six goods, so a demand of six would be a nine. So I want these lines to be at least a nine, as, as fast as a nine. So this is 7.7, .7, this is fine, one train. So we're going to come do the same thing out of uh, Konigsberg. Here we're going to pick this line over here, which would be... Uh, track one. So we're going to run out of track one to run our freight up here. Track one. And this is going to be a freight line with the Prussian. Nine and a half days. That's, ah, we'll run two trains. That's pushing it. Okay. Uh, Danzig. Mm, we can run either line we like. So we'll do um, track two, I think. Uh, we won't do anybody yet. We have to pick a destination. Here to here, out of track two, and that's going to be freight, Prussian, ten and a half days. We'll run two trains. Go. Okay. And then from Bromberg to here. Uh, it really doesn't matter because I didn't uh, could have add, added this stuff to the freight line, but I wanted to build a big giant bridge. I'll show you that in a second. So we've got to track two and be consistent, Consi sort of consistent. The Prussian 9.2 days will run a couple trains and go. Okay, and then um, and did I do track two here? So I did, they're all track two, that's kind of cool. There's a certain consistency to that. Oh, I did, look at that. All right, let's run our passenger trains. I want those to all be fives. Frequency of five. So here to here, track one, uh, express, and it gets all the toys. So 6.2, so we want two trains. And go. All right. Then we want to run um, out of Konigsberg. Track one. Express. 
7.6, we'll give it two trains. Okay. Then out of Danzig to here, out of track one, express two trains I could go get a open a bond but geez we make the money so fast and then we got one more to do and we're done with this uh, here to here track one express one two three I think I might have forgotten those Two trains go and I think I forgot that on this line here uh, let's see the uh, this guy here yeah I did so we'll give him the cars as well that first one I was a little light but it'll get it get it next time all right so let's just uh, what, are, what are we trying to do oh, we got that Express line it's running it's all good um, oh oh another business what would be next next in line we got paper we got uh, alcohol furniture tools well, we could do chemicals in Paris, which would be the coal. That would be a tough one to get down there, but I, I, uh, why not? Do we care? Um, I, I, yes, we do. All right, we'll put in uh, chemicals in Paris. And I'm fairly certain that means coal. It does. And we've got coal up here. And we're taking coal to Frankfurt into that. Um, now let's just, let, let's see. Well, first of all, let's see what would happen if we wanted to run coal from here to Paris. It doesn't even show an option right now. But that's because it's only really hooked up to, well, it would be hooked up to here, wouldn't it? Steel. Go over. I mean, we could, we could shuttle the coal down to here. We already have a warehouse there. When we do that, uh, freight, Prussian, 21 days. We want, well, that would be, be good enough for now. We'll run that now. We're going to have to put coal on this warehouse. Okay. And then we're going to want to run coal to Paris from here. So, and we'll just give it another shunt line um, here to here. And we'll run a line that goes from here to Paris, Paris Freight. A freight line with the Russian, or Prussian, excuse me, 26 days. Run full. Okay. Oh, uh, I forgot one thing. We don't have a line coming out of here, really.
Oh, I gotta go back and do something else. I just reminded myself. Okay, this line here. The one to Frankfurt should be out of track one. That's correct. And then the one uh, to Schmidt Rest, which is our kind of our relay, should be out of track two and should be running full. Here we go. And it figured out we need it. Okay, good. All right, that should get uh, chemicals in, in Paris. Now, the thing I didn't do at all over here, uh, I, I don't know why. Oh, did I? Oh, well, maybe I did. No, no, it's the wrong one. Where is it? Oh, way up here. I didn't set up set up the uh, signals. So I got this all these trains running and they're not going anywhere. Or they're going nowhere fast or something like that. We'll go back and put supplies in. But look, look at this. Look at this bridge. I'll get out signal mode so we can have a good look at it. And all this beautiful track coming in here. Completely overkill. It's absolutely beautiful. Ah. And dizzying beyond belief. Okay. And we probably should stop down some supplies. That should do it. Now we should see some activity here. We should see some trains, more trains running than what we had. Okay, what are we trying to do? That uh, I guess we should go check on it. It'd be a shame to mess up this whole thing because this wasn't working correctly. Uh, Berlin. Oh, and I definitely want to give this maintenance. And while I'm thinking of it, let's put a supply tower out here. It should pick up supplies. In fact, this is the place where I doubled those up. We, I got two here, really don't need them. Okay. Uh, it should be fine on supplies, but let's just see where, where is it? Uh, Paris. Paris freight to Berlin. That's it right there. And we can see that it's going 81 miles an hour, 82. That was that little faux. Um, <laughs> we lost 54 million. Uh, we dropped 54 million. Why is that? We spent six. Oh, we bought everybody. We spent 66 million buying out the competition. It's nice when you can just write, grab a check when you want to do something like that. All right, so he's he's up and he's running. He's doing fine. He's coming up here to um, Frankfurt. He's being serviced. Okay. And what's going on up here? What's that saying? Last, that's okay. 
your first tour is probably going to be empty. Our hotel's already starting to do passengers. And look at look at all the stuff we've got coming in. We don't have any sugar. Oh, they probably probably don't even need any. Well, I'm I'm tooken should. Yeah. Oh, it's got a lot. <laughs> Do I have this line set up? I don't I don't think I have this. Yeah, I do. Where no, I don't. What in the world? Why is he going there? I've got him going to the wrong place. Oh no 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 no. That's this guy. We do not have a line for the, the cattle. They're supposed to be coming out of track one. We're supposed to have a line like this going to Konigsberg out of track one, full priority cattle, freight, uh, six days. That'll work. There we go. Okay. And we can just come down here and check out our our nice bridge. Two, four, what is it? Eight wide or nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten wide bridge. Lovely. And it'll take a while for this to really kick in, but it's already kicked in some. He's Konigsberg. Well, our Danzig's growing, and he quit declining, so that's a good sign. We got growth everywhere else. How are we doing in Paris? Oh, uh, Paris is at 96. We're going to kind of be forced to. Um, so have coal coming. Yeah, it's got eight coal coming. And does it consume chemicals yet? I don't think so. Yeah, it does. It consumes chemicals. And cement. We could go get cement. Look how smooth everything. Well, there's a lot of trains right here. They're probably waiting to load, though. This is probably working pretty well. Nance has grown. It's through 62. Oh, I don't even have a good grief. Give them an immigration office. How about you? Good grief. Uh, I think you have one, yeah. And you do. And you do not, oh my word. Paris is at 98, before I forget it, we will give them a university. If I can find the immigration office, there it is. Okay, let's go check on Lingby again. Curious to see how that's going. Here we go. Bromberg's growing. Konigsberg's growing. How about you guys? They are close. They've got uh, lumber on the way. No meat yet, but we're just getting that going. We're going to get him up to 20 so we can upgrade. I think it's 20, maybe 40, where we can upgrade that uh, 
and we can see the warehouse has got plenty of stuff going on and we're getting a lot of passengers a lot of mail oh and what do we put back here we definitely want maintenance maintenance in a restaurant I think we said it was nice and maintenance in a restaurant and maintenance in a restaurant all right let's let's wrap this one up I think it will declare success on 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 this one uh, everything's looking great how close are we are we to getting this guy where is he oh now I see if he stopped behind people I, I'm gonna scream I think he was just getting supplies okay Let's just, let's stay with it until he gets back. Um, in fact, I'll just, oh, here we go. Now, double growth, 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 good deal. All right, um, I'll be back, I'll be back. When this, when this line gets down to Paris. All right, let's ride on into Paris. We're coming into, we're passing through Reims right now, going right by the university. Here we go, heading into Paris. See if we get our status. Your there we go. Our nice. Right. Local politicians are easier to convince if our endeavor has already been of benefit to other communities. Our progress eastward cannot be stopped. We are approaching our goal with great strides. The last leg of our journey now lies ahead. In Eidkunen, we can connect with the Russian rail network. It will allow the Nord Express to travel all the way to St. Petersburg. Give it all you can one last time now. Unfortunately, the passengers of the Nord Express will have to change trains in Eidkunen. Alas, the Russian rail network uses a different gauge that is common in other parts of Europe. At least we don't have to lay any new rails from this point. Excellent. Our enemies lie beaten in the dust. With this, we no longer have to fear competitors between Paris and Eidkunen. Good riddance. A sensible investment. This way we can use existing infrastructure to our own advantage and no longer have to take anyone else into consideration. The efficiency of the route we created is second to none. Passengers travel not only comfortably, but also at top speeds. A true Nord Express. Are you sure that the balance of your trains hasn't been faked? If all this were true, it would be quite extraordinary. Okay, so <laughs> after all that, they were congratulating us because we got nine new tasks and we'd done one, two, three, four, five of them. So our to finish our list, we've got to make seven different goods available in Eitkunen at the same time. We've got six out of seven right now. And do an express status line between Paris, Berlin, and Eitkunen. And you can see how we can just take the train we just made, extend it to Eitkunen, and just go, you know, just go Berlin to Eitkunen and run it, and we're done. And that seventh good would be super easy for Eitkunen. It should be. We'll double check, but I'm pretty certain we don't even have to grow it. Now, newspapers to Paris different story this express line austin cologne berlin is not hard i think we'll just come back and deal with all that in the next episode i hope you enjoyed that i hope it'll help you become a better player 
I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe, and join us for more Railway Empire 2 videos. Thank you.